In this video, we would like to share our experience in choosing, setting up, and installing network cameras in a bank project with you. At first, we will talk about the optimal image coverage of bank counters. For an optimal image coverage of a bank counter, we could install a network camera with the resolution from 2 megapixel to 5 megapixel in a 3 meter distance. Because we need to recognize the type of nodes or documents clearly by this distance, this camera can even provide a possibility for recognizing three counters with a length of 1.6 meters each or a total of 4.8 meters. For recognizing cache types and clients' faces, the best angle is about 60 degrees to the horizon level. So the height of the camera to be installed on the wall should be in a distance about a minimum of 2.7 meters at an angle of 60 degrees. But in the distance from the counters to the installed camera, it's sometimes more than 3 meters due to a variety of spaces in the bank. Therefore, in order to keep the optimal angle and the best image recognition, it's recommended to install the camera on the ceiling. But it is important to know that the height of the ceiling should not be more than 4 meters. By this account, a 2 megapixel camera with a very focal lens of 3 to 8 millimeters is the best choice for the bank employers to meet their needs. Experience has proved that image focus and image transparency are decreased a bit gradually with time passing by. So it is better to install motorized and network cameras in the counters, which are the important and sensitive sections in the bank. The advantage of the mentioned cameras is to be set up easily, and there is no need for an installer to focus on the lens manually. When the cameras are out of focus and images blur, we can regain the clear images with only one click on the computer or app. Besides, we should not forget that the aperture of lens should be equal to or less than 1.4 to have a clear image. Equipping the cameras with P-Iris could help to catch clear and favorable images because it enables us to have an unlimited focus on specific sections so that we could get clear images in all parts with deep depth of view. Another purpose of the cameras opposite to the counters is to see the clients. Considering that the most of orchestrated robberies and thefts happen in this section, it's required to install cameras with a minimum of 25 frames per second to monitor the details. But it's also acceptable if the cameras can provide real 20 frames per second, because it can save the storage. Camera operation in high contrast lighting conditions is another important issue needed to be considered, which could be perfectly overcome by Super WDR. Therefore, if it is under high contrast lighting environment, it is necessary to have professional Super WDR with a minimum of 120 dB. Then, the type of the cameras opposite to the counters should also be decided. There are two options for the customers to choose, bullet or dome cameras. It might be a good idea to leave the choice to customers' preference, but our suggestion is to install the bullet cameras on the walls or the ceilings in two conditions. First, when it is not possible to install the dome cameras. Second, when the height from the ceiling to the floor is more than 3.5 meters. Of course, in order to have an apparent uniformity of the installed cameras on the walls and ceilings, we could install all cameras to be either bullet or dome only, which is a good choice for both the employer and the contractor in the after-sales service for long-term consideration. Go back to the camera angle. As it was mentioned before, the best angle for installing the cameras in the counters is 55 degrees to 60 degrees. In this picture, a 2 megapixel camera has been installed in about 75 degrees. Although you can recognize the node type, the client's face is not clear, so it is a case of installing a camera with a wrong angle. But in this picture, the camera has been installed with a right angle. This picture is also a case of a round angle on top of the counters as the camera has been installed vertically, which is the best choice for recognizing note type. But the disadvantage is that we will need more cameras to cover the images. After discussing the image coverage of the counters, it comes to the waiting area. 
In order to cover this part where the clients are settled, there should be no blind spots. Then, the cameras should be installed in the way that not only the cameras could capture clients' faces clearly, but also should be able to have optimal coverage at clients' back while they're doing their banking work. So in waiting area, two cameras have better be installed in opposite of each other. In addition to installation type and angle of the cameras, image resolution is another important factor since it requires people's faces to be recognizable clearly in a distance of 12 to 50 meters. It's better to install at least 3 megapixel cameras in these sections. However, we suggest the 5 megapixel cameras in the case of little price difference because they have better image resolutions. In the waiting area, a camera at the back of the clients is required to be installed because in normal mode, we have only the images of the clients from the front and their size by the counter cameras and Dellmetric cameras. But we have no images from the back at the same time in case of robbery. Because there may not be any images shot of the robbery by those mentioned installed cameras. We need to have the images from the back and the size as well as the front by the back camera. Considering that typically, ATMs exist in waiting areas. It's suggested to place the cameras in opposite of them. With the right camera angle, we can have clear images of fixing the cash machine bugs, charging cash or other options down by the operators. So no extra camera is needed. At many banks, high contracts lighting is a serious issue in waiting area. So we recommend to install the cameras with a minimum of 120 dB WDR to solve the problem. At this section, the best choice could be Bolli type. But choosing either motorized lens cameras or fixed lens ones depends on the bank budget. Well, since the motorized lens cameras have their own advantages, we emphasize to use them. In the next step, the image coverage of the bank entrance must be paid attention to. Since the client's faces are shot and recognized many times, by placing the cameras at the back of the counters and clients. It is important to install and place one specialized camera to shoot the images of all people entering the bank. So, we also suggest to install a specialized camera in this section to meet our needs to recognize the people entering the bank. There are some key items needed to be concerned about these cameras. The priority is the power of WDR. So here the performance of the camera in high contrast lighting conditions is more important than the resolution. Many years ago, when analog cameras were used at banks, box camera was the one with the best WDR among all the types and with the advantage that there was a lens to provide a good zoom. Now. This camera has been still common in some bank instructions, even after a long time. Even more interesting, it is seen that most cameras used at the bank are motorized cameras in different sections, such as the counters, outside, waiting area, even stairs or safe box. But unfortunately, the camera for recognizing faces, which is the most key camera due to its outstanding focusing in this section, is a box camera or a camera with a manual focus lens. Another issue that has been observed in documents is emphasizing on camera resolution. For example, it has been mentioned a 4 megapixel box camera with 20 frames per second and 120 dB WDR is available choice. While we suggest a 2 megapixel network camera with 140 dB WDR because it has a much higher efficiency even than a camera with 110 dB WDR and 5 megapixel resolution. Though, if the mentioned camera shoots 60 frames per second, it has more favorable results. Being equipped with motorized lens is the next important point in cameras because the cameras opposite the bank entrance must be able to meet our need for full face recognition. So the minimum focal length could be 3 to 8 millimeters. However, if the distance of the camera increases in larger banks, it's a necessity to use the cameras with longer focal length, like 7 to 22 millimeters. 
The last point is the installation height of the camera. The cameras must be installed horizontally in the lowest possible height, so that it can record people's faces while entering the bank. 20 degrees to 30 degrees to the horizon is a favorable angle, but the height of the camera to be installed should not be less than 2.4 meters because installing cameras in a low height allows people to access the cameras easily and when a lot of people enter the bank continuously, it is possible to cause a blind spot. Next, the image coverage and management and bank teller sections must be examined. Since this place of the bank is small and limited, it's recommended to use the cameras with wide angles because the blind spots of the counters or the other mentioned places should be under coverage. Therefore, in designing the section, it is required to install the cameras with a minimum of 80 degrees and a resolution of 2 megapixel to 5 megapixel depending on technical features of the brand and camera angle. In terms of uniformity, the cameras to be chosen should be similar to the installed cameras in the counters. Then, we need to note that dome cameras are recommended for less than 2.7 meters high and bully cameras for more than 2.7 meters high. For these sections, it's not necessary to use motorized lens cameras because the bank teller's section is less sensitive than the client's or waiting area. Furthermore, the clients entering this part are VIP clients and familiar to the bank. Typically for this part, the needed cameras might be two and could be increased to six cameras depending on the bank size. In placing the cameras, the important thing is that we should try to receive a clear image of the safe box. But if it is not possible to have an optimal image of the safe box due to bank size, it's required to install a specialized camera with a fixed lens to record a minimum of 15 frames per second. In the following, we should focus on the exterior coverage of the images. For the bank, that is located on the street or between two commercial buildings. Installing two network cameras with an angle of 30 degrees to the horizon is suggested. If the bank has many exterior sides, the cameras must be installed in the way that it could have image overlap. Definitely, the camera height has a significant and effective influence on the clearness of the received images. For example, in this picture, the height of installed camera outside the bank is higher than a normal condition, and in other words, it is vertical on client's face. On one hand, for having favorable images of the client's face, we need to receive images of his face in a further distance. But on the other hand, further distance does not give us favorable images. Then the height of exterior cameras ought to be 3 to 3.4 meters, because dimension height makes us able to recognize people's faces clearly in a right angle. Furthermore, people cannot access to the cameras easily. Exterior cameras should also record the images of the ATMs as far as possible. For instance, for this camera, we will have more complete coverage of the cash machine by installing a bracket. Besides, the exterior cameras should be equipped with WDR because the shadow of the bank building usually makes the outside area of the bank dark in the middle of the day, which makes some parts of images blurred. While the image quality of the shadow in dark places get better by activating WDR. In addition, it is better for the cameras outside the bank to have a minimum of 4 megapixel or 5 megapixel image resolution and to be equipped with IR illumination. However, here starlight is more important than image resolution or even IR illumination because by using Sony Professional image sensors, it gives us clear and colored images in places with not enough light and blur of images decreases at night. Of course, it might be a good idea to minimally install a camera for recognizing the car plates on the street where the bank is located. So apart from the camera surround, an LPR camera could be installed outside the bank in order to purely recognize and read license plate by specific settings. One of the disadvantages of dome cameras is that image and lens orientation are not nearly clear from a far distance. 
but the exterior cover of the camera needs cleaning occasionally and it often gets open automatically after passing some years and the manager faced some problems with IR illumination. So cameras should be bullet type apparently. In our approach, dome cameras are only acceptable in one situation when the bank facade has a roofed space of composite facade with low height that leads to provide the condition to install the cameras even secretly. We need typical cameras for allies as well as backyards. Thus fixed lens bullet cameras with starlight could be a good option. However, in terms of beauty, it's better to use cameras in similar type and size for the exterior places where these cameras are visible or seen. Two megapixel network cameras could meet our demand for image coverage of other places such as archive, balcony, stairs, hallways, and basement due to being less important than the other mentioned places. But more important point is that the cameras should be equipped with two features. First, IR illumination. Second, image coverage, which give us a wide angle minimally 80 degrees. Remember that typically bank rack is in bank teller section and fits in the image as euro. But some banks have separate rack room and UPS. So for this room, it's required to install a specific separate camera. Even in some banks, there is a specialized place for ATMs. Therefore, it is a necessity to consider a camera for the mentioned place. But due to full cross and light off, the installed cameras should have IR illumination. 